Dear brothers and sisters, the main theme of today's readings is faith and how faith works in our life. You know, one day a shoe company sent one of their sales representatives to a remote village. And he went to the village and after one week he sent a mail to the company saying, nobody in this village wears shoes, so I am coming back. So he went back. And the next week the company sent another sales representative to the same village and in two days, this man sent a message to the company saying, please send me more order forms because nobody in this village wears shoes. I think I can sell more shoes here. So the same situation, but different response. The first one saw the impossibility and the second one saw the possibility there to sell more because he had faith in himself and the product he sell there. The first reading today from the book of Prophet Habakkuk, if you remember last two Sundays, we, the first reading was from Prophet Amos. And there we heard Amos was born in Judea and he was sent to Israel as a prophet. And Habakkuk was a prophet in Judea. And he lived almost 600 years before Jesus. Especially he was there in 586 BC when Jerusalem was destroyed. And when we read the book of prophet Habakkuk, what we see, the first two chapters, a dialogue, a conversation between the prophet and God. What happened in Judea and Jerusalem? People abandoned God. They disobeyed the commandments of God. They dishonored the temple. As a result, God allowed the pagan empire to conquer Jerusalem and Judea. The prophet is crying out violence. And the prophet is telling God, that the people deserves punishment, but this is too much, beyond what they, what they deserve. And he is complaining, that's what he, we heard today. A prophet is telling God, I cried out violence, and you didn't listen, and you didn't work, you didn't do anything. The just two people also are suffering. And the prophet is reminding God about God's holiness and justice. If you do things like this, it's against your holiness, O oh God. That's what the prophet tells. And God is replying, I listened to the cry. I saw the suffering of the just, but the just will live by his faith. And this words was taken by St. Paul again and telling, you know, that the just will live by faith. Paul's letter to Romans, Galatians and Hebrews. So here faith is not uh, the intellectual faith, knowing certain dogmas and doctrines, no. The word used for faith, the Hebrew word is emuna, 
that means the faith which you live so faith is not something to be believed alone it is something to be lived the active faith but the just one even in the midst of all these atrocities will live by faith the gospel passage today the disciples asked jesus lord increase our faith it was a response to jesus when he said you have to forgive unconditionally and unlimited and there the disciples asking god jesus increase our faith and jesus did not say that okay today onwards your faith is increased from 25% to 50% jesus didn't say that jesus reply was it is not the quality quantity of faith but the quality of faith is what is important even if you have faith like a mustard seed very little if it is strong and real you can move a tree that means you can do wonders it's not the amount of dogmas and doctrines you understood you learned you by heart even a thing to know our dogmas and doctrines they learn it in order to argue but here jesus is telling your faith should be real and strong even if it is very little the faith should be lived and there jesus is telling the parable of the servants and the master the servants serve the master because they are obliged to do that even after all these services they consider themselves as unworthy servants that means your faith should make you humble to say that we are here in this morning especially this cool weather we are here to celebrate this holy eucharist we can have two attitudes when we are here the first one is i did a sacrifice i could have sleep a little more time or i could go for a walk i could some spend some more time to be with my family so i did a sacrifice to come here so when i do this sacrifice i expect something from god he will bless me so that means i do a favor to god so that god will give something back to me that's the first attitude i i i give my offering or i help somebody so that god will give me back something more and the second attitude is the servant's attitude the reward for being here it is the opportunity to be here itself the action itself is the reward that means i am here in this church celebrating this holy eucharist giving my offering that itself is the gift of god god has given me the opportunity to be here to praise god to celebrate this holy eucharist so that being here itself is the greatest reward given by god so there whatever we do itself is the reward given by god that's the servant's attitude today that jesus tells us the true believer he comes to the church he offer his sacrifice he do something good all these are rewards from god it is because god has given me this opportunity 
it is because god has given me the resources to do that so my being here itself is a blessing from god that should be our attitude when we come to the church when we offer and then the second reading today saint paul in his letter to timothy he speaks about the the faith the doctrines and he is telling that uh, you have to aflame the spirit you have received it is not the spirit of cowardice and then the faith which you have received you have to keep it you have to obey and then you have to hand it over to others so your faith is something to be transmitted to others you have to leave it and you have to give it to others also as a church it is our responsibility to hand over the faith the content of faith to others so dear brothers and sisters as we reflect on faith today it's, a, it's an opportunity for us also to evaluate how strong our faith is the first reading is challenging us to have faith even in the midst of suffering atrocities and jesus tells us to increase your faith you should have faith and saint paul today tells us the faith which we have received is to be lived and to hand it over to others god bless you amen